اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وعلیکم السلام علیکم میں حمود الفرحاشمی اور پروگرام ہے وائڈ اینگل ناظرین آج کل امریکہ میں الیکشن کا موسم ہے ہر طرف گہما گہمی ہے ریپبلکنز اور ڈیموکریٹس امیدوار جو ہیں مختلف پارٹیوں کو نمائندگی کرتے ہوئے وہ الیکشن لڑ رہے ہیں مختلف سلاٹس کے لیے گورنر کے لیے اٹارنیز کے لیے اسٹیٹ ریپس کے لیے اور ججز کے لیے ایک ایسی گہما گہمی ہے جو کہ بہت ہی خوشگوار بھی ہے اور اچھی بھی لگ رہی ہے ضابطہ اخلاق کی پاسداری بھی ہو رہی ہے ان یہ کن ایشوز پہ الیکشن لڑ رہے ہیں ریپبلکن پارٹی کی سیاست کیا ہے ڈیموکریٹس کی سیاست کیا ہے اس پہ ٹی وی ون نے بہت سارے پروگرام پہلے بھی کیے ہیں آج بھی ہم کر رہے ہیں اور آج بھی ہمارے ساتھ بہت اچھے اچھے مہمان موجود ہیں وی ہیو ویری ڈسٹنگوشڈ گیسٹ ٹوڈے ان مائی ٹاک شو مائی فرسٹ گیسٹ از مسز سید شاہد علی سید شاہد علی از دی فاؤنڈر اینڈ چیئرمین آف مسلم کونسل آف یو ایس اے ہی از ویری ایکٹیو ممبر آف پاکستانی کمیونٹی تھینک یو ویری مچ فار بینگ ود اس السلام علیکم غزن بھائی فرسٹ آف آل آئی ول لائک ٹو تھینکس فار دا ٹی وی ون اینڈ یو ٹو انوائٹ اس اوور ہیئر ٹوڈے اینڈ لائک یو سی وی ہیو اے ٹو ڈسٹنگ گیسٹ اوور ہیئر تھینک یو ویری مچ اینڈ مائی سیکنڈ گیسٹ از ہیرس کاؤنٹی ڈسٹرکٹ اٹارنی ڈیون اینڈرسن شی از رننگ فار ان ایکسپائر ٹرم ول رن فار فل ٹرم ان ٹو Thank you very much for being with us and welcome to my show. Thank you very much. You. My uh, next guest is Mr. Paul Simpson. He is attorney at law of Harris, he is Harris County Chair for Republican Party. Very sensitive word, I mean, chair he has, I think. Thank you very much for being with us. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, inviting us on to your show. Shahid Ali, sir, we talk about you. Elections are always happening in every country. In Pakistan, they are also happening in Pakistan. یہاں کیا ڈفرنس نظر آتا ہے آپ کو اوور ہیئر سنس از اے ویری ایتھیکل ایکشن الیکشن آئی ووڈ سے دا لا بائڈنگ دا نو مٹس ٹو سلائڈ دیر از سم کائنڈ آف مٹس گوز ٹو ایچ ادر بٹ از اے ڈفرینٹ بٹ دا ہول تھنگ دا سسٹم از سو اسٹرانگ سو گڈ ود آؤٹ اینی ہیسل یو کین گو ووٹ ود آؤٹ اینی ہیسل یو کین یوز یور رائٹ آف ایکسرسائز آف یور اوپینین نو رگنگ نو رگنگ no cheating no mm-hmm. candidate bashing that mm-hmm. much uh, that sometime mm-hmm. happen mm-hmm. as a republican i would like to mention something just like our governor greg abbott is running and some other parties rigging his wheelchair that's kind of rigging unfortunately you are also republican i am yes. definitely republican okay. no doubt in my mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. so but the, the ethic the principle the violence we have in other country particularly in pakistan and asian country mm-hmm. we will not see that kind of situation over here mm-hmm. there is some different view plus or minus mm-hmm. but not that kind of uh, imagination but uh, we go like miss anderson is right here is second she's running an expired term peacefully paul is controlling the party in harris county and every candidate comes to him he give advice and runs so we are all doing good well no, no noise no disturbance no no, no nothing no, no, ringing, no, no accusations no, no accusation okay okay miss anderson what do you mean by an expired term Well, I, I was appointed by the governor a year ago mm-hmm. in the middle of a term. It was mm-hmm. in the middle of a four-year term. So mm-hmm. now I have to run to get two more years. Mm-hmm. That's in November, November 4th. And then I run again in 2016 and then would get a full four-year term. Mm-hmm. So you were appointed by? I was appointed by the governor, governor. to okay. take my husband's okay. place. My right. husband right. had been elected okay. in 2012 mm-hmm. and took mm-hmm. office in 2013. <clears throat> but then he got sick and now passed away. Now two years are remaining? Sorry? Two years remaining? Two years are remaining. And you are running for two years? Yes. That is unexpired term? Correct. But, but the procedure is, the first you have been appointed, then you are running for the election. Yeah, and the, I was mm-hmm. appointed to replace my husband, who, okay. who passed away in the middle mm-hmm. of his term. Otherwise, he would have been there for four years <coughs> and then if, run again. But if, if, God forbid, you are not elected, then? Then? Then, then? Okay. The Democrat wins. We don't want we to imagine have. that possibility. <laughs> we can't have that. No. No. Okay. We don't. Okay, okay. Right. So, so it's a procedure. It's yes. a procedural way. The first you are appointed, then you run for the unexpired term. Exactly. Okay. Let so, me correct it mm-hmm. a bit over. It's mm-hmm. not the first you appointed. The mm-hmm. unfortunate situation, her husband was the secretary, right. Mr. Rich <laughs> Henderson. Mm-hmm. He was elected. But okay. unfortunately, he died. Mm-hmm. So governor has authority in the system that mm-hmm. he can appoint anybody but the remaining portion okay. of the term. Mm-hmm. So election was so due it, in this 14. So, so this is for ad hoc? I mean, in a sense, yes. Okay. In another language, mm-hmm. another country mm-hmm. position is that in the governor has the right to appoint a person to mm-hmm. district attorney. Mm-hmm. So he appoint her. Mm-hmm. Now the term since uh, the election is due in this year, mm-hmm. in 14, mm-hmm. so she has our law allow us, our law obligated us mm-hmm. that the person who got 
are appointed by the governor must contest the election mm -hmm. and then the remaining okay. 12 and 16, so that's what she's doing. So, right. so, so she will have to uh, fulfill the procedural formal exactly. formalities also. The yes. no, that's, that's right. Mr. Simpson, you have a very, uh, I mean, uh, critic, I mean, very important and sensitive position as a chair of the Harris County Republican Party. What exact functions you perform? My main job is to mm -hmm. uh, manage and lead the Republican Party here in, mm -hmm. in Harris County, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of 254 counties in Texas, mm -hmm. and make sure all our Republican candidates are elected, like Devin Anderson, who I, I want to just point out, she wasn't just appointed by the governor, she was a highly qualified prosecutor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with decades of experience on her own before she was appointed. But by profession, so, you were also attorney at law. I, I was an engineer, and mm -hmm. then for some reason I left that profession years ago and became a doctor, uh, doctor I became a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and I practice mostly oil and gas law. Uh, most mm -hmm. of my clients have interest in oil and gas, which is a big, obviously a very busy field. Is this field a paired interest. position? The position I have as county chair of the party is unpaid. It's voluntary. It's unpaid, okay. Right. And, and so it's, it's honorary. It's, I'm sorry? Honorary? It's not honorary. It's very, very demanding, it's very many. busy, but it's, it's unpaid. unpaid. It's volunteer, okay. and okay. Uh, it's a, for a two-year term. So how how you how you uh, I mean spare time for this? Uh, there is no spare time left. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I have no spare time right now. Okay. Particularly we're three weeks <coughs> a major election. Mm -hmm. So we we're mm -hmm. we're going. I just spent the afternoon at our headquarters meeting with staff and doing some planning. So and then came out here. And so uh, mm -hmm. it's a it's a very busy job, particularly in, in the campaign season. Mm -hmm. um, but we so, we believe especially in these days you are I mean busy. I mean these days the election days. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. In election days, you are extremely more busy. busy. But mm -hmm. after, it's interesting. Campaigns run up until election day, and then they're decided. Then the party goes on. Mm -hmm. So our job, uh, my job as a party chair, will be to make sure we can build our party, which we need to have extensive building that we need to do here in our county mm -hmm. to rebuild the Republican Party. It's a very mm -hmm. large county and in a, in a, in a very significant party. So it's we have a lot of resources here, but we need we need a lot of work to re, to rebuild our party. Mm -hmm. So I'll be doing that. Well after the election, we just shift into a different mode and, and we won't be campaigning as much as we are now, but building the party for the future. So, Shahid Ali, how, how you are participating in the campaign as, okay. a, as a representative of Pakistani community? Awareness, mm -hmm. voter registration, mm -hmm. bring the people out to mm -hmm. vote. Mm -hmm. Exercise vote is very necessary. Mm -hmm. regardless of your opinion. Mm -hmm. positive, positive opinion people make more difference mm -hmm. in the society than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And if we adopt this country as a parent country, mm -hmm. we must obey the law, number one, and stay ethical. Mm -hmm. The other day you asked me the question about choosing the Republican Party. The Republican Party as a Muslim, in, I would say, I don't like the hyphen, the American Muslim or Muslim American. Or, I just say we are American. Mm -hmm. According to the philosophy of Islam, major issue, couple major issue like, a, I would say, this uh, abortion issue, mm -hmm. is very sensitive to us. Mm -hmm. The Republican Party's the thoughts are mostly or close to close to Islam. Islam. Okay, that's one philosophy. Mm -hmm. The second is thing is that that in in the community we complain easy to complain, but production or productivity is very important. Hmm. If we participate in an election, we raise our voice, our opinion, then the people know. Like for example, is DA sitting right here. Hmm. How should she should know that if we don't tell her anything and we just stay outside and bang, the bang, <coughs> bang, bang, mm -hmm. we need to communicate, we need to go learn from them. Mm -hmm. What is the law is, what's the procedure is. We cannot go that we just say, okay, DA didn't do anything. Hmm. You don't even know anything. Mm -hmm. What are you mm -hmm. going to do? Mm -hmm. What she's going to do? Paulson, the chairman of the Republican Party. People say, what's the party do? Republican Party. I keep coming. Did you talk to him? Did you communicate with him? Did you visit with him? What he wants. Mm -hmm. Every time we go and just say, hey, Mr. Paul, give it to me. This, give it to me. Adia, give it to me. Mm -hmm. But what are we giving them? The society. Mm -hmm. Not we giving individually to Paul. Not we giving anything individually mm -hmm. to Devon Porter has a district attorney um, Harris County. What are we giving the society? What do you think? I, uh, what is the response of Pakistani community when you say, when you uh, convince them that you should vote, you should come out for the voting, and you should choose the people from for judges and for attorneys? What What is the response? You know, when I talk to them, response is always positive. You yeah. know that. Yeah. It's, it's very hard somebody can convince me other way. Mm -hmm. You know, in an Islamic way, they can argue with me or Debate will be in Islamic way. Hmm. I can read it for there if they okay. want for a Holy Quran, if they want Prophet life, 
they can argue, I can tell the Republican Party how ethical, how close to we are, those teaching the rubber profit did. Ms. Anderson, do you have any previous experience of launching campaign? Yes. Um, I was a prosecutor for 12 mm -hmm. years, and mm -hmm. then I ran for judge mm -hmm. and was elected to the okay. bench. So I was so a you felony. launched campaign? Sorry? You launched campaign? Yes, uh -huh, I did. Mm -hmm. um, in 2003, mm -hmm. I ran and was elected mm -hmm. and served for four years as mm -hmm. a judge mm -hmm. and then um, went into private practice mm -hmm. where I did defense work. So mm -hmm. I've been a prosecutor, a judge, mm -hmm. and a defense attorney. Mm -hmm. So how do you uh, feel difference between attorney and judge? Well, with an attorney, you get mm -hmm. to argue a position. Mm -hmm. As a judge, you're supposed to... Just stay too, neutral, too different, you know? right? Not have an opinion and just be, be even. Mm -hmm. And I had a hard time with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have an opinion so about you, most you things. You have both so. experience. I mean, yes, okay. I prefer being a prosecutor, though. You, That's, you prefer? Yes. Why? Because I get to fight for someone who's been hurt, mm -hmm. or try to get justice for crime mm -hmm. victims. That's mm -hmm. what our job is all about. Mm -hmm. Getting if your house is broken into, if you've been beaten up or robbed, um, if someone in your family has been murdered. We're the ones who go to court on your behalf and seek justice. So you it's think that you can make best use of your uh, potentials in, <coughs> as a, as a uh, as a as an attorney? Yes, I, I have seen all aspects of the courtroom. Mm -hmm. I understand mm -hmm. it from all angles. Mm -hmm. But I was a prosecutor the longest for 12 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. um, and tried many cases, over 100 jury trials, and mm -hmm. seven capital murder cases. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of experience. I know how the office works. I was a prosecutor in that office, in the mm -hmm. office that I'm running now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm definitely the best qualified. Okay. Discussion continues. We'll take a break. Okay. Uh, viewers, we'll take a break. Stay with us. we come back.